even in the army, Shrove Tuesday is Pancake Day. Trainee cooks get their battle orders for Operation Pancake in military style. What is going on, gang? Welcome again to my kitchen. Today was interesting. Today I had a pancake experimentation this past Tuesday was Pancake Tuesday. I am always a fan of pancakes. The one pancake recipe I saw splattered all over social media was this two ingredient only, easiest pancakes ever, yada yada, all it takes is two eggs, one banana, and then a smattering of other things should you wish to put that into your batter. Well, I tried that. I do have tips for you. This was my first time making this recipe. It does say on the recipe that I used that you need to practice this for absolute success. I have linked the recipe I used below. It is not my own, and I thought it looked really good. Look at these pancakes. Look at that. Mine didn't look like that, but who's not gonna try to make those buttes? So, I tried. And without further ado, let's get into this video and check out what I did with this recipe. Also, a brief moment about what in the heck Pancake Tuesday actually is. The origins of Shrove Tuesday come from the Christian calendar. It's not the same date each year, but always takes place in the seventh week before Easter, the day before the beginning of Lent. Also the last day of feasting before fasting during Lent. This fast mirrors the 40 days and nights Jesus spent fasting in the desert. Traditionally, this was a day on which people would use up their stocks of fats and other ingredients forbidden during Lent, often by making pancakes. This led to the term Pancake Day being used in the United Kingdom, Ireland, Canada, and Australia. Here are the ingredients. We have a banana. Some say a banana and a half, but most of the recipes I found call for one banana, so I'm gonna try that. Two medium-sized eggs, some organic baking powder. That's optional if you want your pancakes a little more fluffy, which which I definitely do. We are gonna whisk this all up, throw it on the griddle, and see how it turns out. Also, I'm gonna be making some berry compote to go on top of these. The berry compote is going to be made in a medium-sized saucepan with mixed berries and some maple syrup. They also say a dash of salt. I'm not sure why, but I guess we'll do that. They say your banana shouldn't be too ripe, but just right enough. I don't know. Mashing with a fork is the way to go. And it says don't mash it too much. Some recipes say mash it into creamy. Some say leave it a little chunky. I don't know. I would be here all day if I was mashing this into a cream. I can tell you that right now. On my own accord, I've decided to add a little bit of cinnamon as well as a little bit of nutmeg. There is our pancake batter. We'll see what happens. Here we have got the berry compote on the stove. This is going to be brought to a boil. I have two tablespoons of maple syrup in there and one half cup of berries. I think. You're supposed to use one cup of berries to two tablespoons, but I just felt like that was a lot of berries for just me. So I'm only having a half cup and two tablespoons of maple syrup. I'm gonna bring that to a boil at medium high heat. It also has a dash of salt in there. And then once it boils, I'm gonna reduce the heat and just keep stirring. Starting to boil. I did add in a second cup of berries because I can save some for later. So now that that's boiled a bit, I have turned it down to medium heat as opposed to medium high. I like my berry compote really thick, almost like a jam consistency, so mine is gonna boil for a bit longer than I think the average one would. Round one, fight. Okay, that's really thin. I probably should have added that other half banana. It's stuck. <laughs> they taste delicious. <laughs> Brutality. Round two, fight. Here is the berry compote, nice and thick, the way I like it. Mm. 
Well done. Outstanding. Impressive. Excellent. Flawless victory. Finish her! It was a giant mess at the end of the day. It is all cleaned up. It was delicious. Close your eyes. Doesn't the food taste better? Yes, if you only use the eggs and banana, it would be a high protein, healthier version than mine. With the maple syrup and all of the berries and the banana, the sugar content was much higher than it otherwise could have been. However, I was looking for a treat. You know, you know what I'm saying? Every now and then, you want something sweet. And it was refined sugar free, so yum. Anyway, please subscribe to this channel. Aside from videos like this, there are videos on here that can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, and body image challenge. Also, please hit that little bell notification icon down below if you would like a notification each time I post a new video. Please hit that thumbs up for me, mostly in support of the channel and in support of me testing these things out. And also if you found it entertaining, helpful, or informative in any way. And until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life and have super amounts of fun, as I always say, trying new things, even if it doesn't work out. Guaranteed the next time I make these guys, they're gonna be delicious. Well, they were delicious, but they'll just be prettier, I guess. More aesthetically pleasing. Anyhow, until next time, bye.